much for pressing play on my video today. My name is Charlene from stampwithsha.com and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the US. It's Friday, which means I either have a tip, a technique, or a trick to share with you. And I've got an awesome tip to share with you today. Now, before we get started, any of the supplies that I used in today's video, you can find it down in the description below. And if you click on that, that's going to head you on over to my online store. I do post projects every weekday to inspire you over on my website, www.stampwithshaw.com. If you guys haven't yet subscribed to my channel, you can do so by hitting that red subscribe button down below or you can hit that little girl that sits in the corner of your screen either way subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit that bell that's going to notify you every time I upload a video we're going to flip the camera and we're going to get started so for today's tip now first of all I saw this tip over on Facebook and I do not know the name of the demonstrator who I saw this tip from but I thought it was really great so I thought I would pass it along if you know who came up with this leave it in the comments that would be cool but I, I can't remember I know she was a demonstrator and so basically you're going to take block E now if you struggle with tying bows and all that kind of stuff like I do I have a hard time so basically you're going to take your block you're going to cut your piece of ribbon And you are going to tie yourself a nice bow. Now you can leave your ribbon on the spool. I know a lot of people leave their ribbon on the spool. Now before I go ahead and, and pull it tight, I'm just trying to position my bow and get my bow right the way I wanted. And then once I have it where I want it, and I have it in the shape that I wanted, after playing around and messing around with it, If you have any excess, you're going to cut it away. Now, I could have probably also given myself a little bit more ribbon to play with, but I didn't. And once you get your bow right where you want it, you're going to come in with your paper snips and from the back, you are going to cut your bow off of your block. And now when you go and you attach it to your project, you can come in with your cardstock and you're just going to fold that back and you're going to tape it down. How cool is that? And of course I can't find my tape, but isn't that a cool trick you guys so instead of trying to fussy sometimes the paper like tends to bend and move so it's a little hard but doing it on this block is nice and sturdy so it just gives you a nice surface to work on thank you so much for watching today's video if you enjoyed the video give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel please share this video with your friends and i hope to see you back here on Monday and I hope you all have a wonderful and safe weekend. Take care.